Alright, I'm going to do a quick crash course on getting started with xdebug. We're going to use uh, nphpstorm as uh, the editor that we're using to connect with it. Now to get started, I'm just going to go ahead and run to puphpet.com puppet, kind of, and uh, get kick started with a virtual machine. That means we'll need Vagrant and VirtualBox, but um, that's a given. So, um, VirtualBox, we'll just use the Ubuntu one, IP address, remember that. have been custom files firewall rules we'll have Apache that's fine for languages we'll want to install xdebug all the settings there on puppet.com are just fine We'll leave the database installed. We don't really need any additional tools. Go ahead. So we're going to make this. Basically, it's right out of the box. Just create the default um, VM from Puppet.com. Okay. Now I'm going to grab that zip file. Unzip it. Move this weird folder name, this generated one, into something that we can use. And Vagrant up. Alright, this will take a little while. But while that's spinning up, let's go ahead and uh, make a folder in our directory for the web server files and start a project in phpstorm My computer does not like doing all this at the same time. Doesn't seem like much, I guess. And we have nothing in there. Let's see if we're done. There we go. So our Vagrant is up. Vagrant SSH. Thank you, Juan Trimino. Now I'm just going to navigate into the bare www folder to remove the default folder um, since the default Apache configuration out of the box is. Uh, pointing to that folder and we're going to link www folder that we created in our shared folder to the folder that uh, we want so default should go there now if we open up 192.168.56.101 right? there it is so we got the PHP um, info page. Now 
let's accept some connections for um, xdebug and throw a breakpoint in there and go back now I'm using a um, xdebug add-on for Firefox to enable xdebug so if uh, I don't have this on it shouldn't send off uh, remote request but if I do turn this on it should flip over to PHP storm oh there it is yeah I don't know why it didn't bring it to focus it usually brings it to focus for me but anyway so at this breakpoint it's going to perpetually load and it's going to dump the variables out to me right here under the debugger and that's really all there is to it so now if I were to you know for example um, some far yeah okay so I made a spelling mistake and then I just have a stop right there if I go back oh, go ahead and resume that now if I go back and refresh this again I don't know why it's not bringing PHP Storm up front and center for me but Sorry, I didn't have the path map correct right there, but um, okay. So now I played it again, and uh, if I refresh the page, oh, there we go. I finally, actually bring it up it's front and center. But anyway, some far equals something. But then I also have all my regular variables, so that's easy enough, right? So let's just kill this and uh, go. Learn XT bug. What is this? Let's um, find a project. Oh, stop this. Let that roll through. So find a project so that you can really see some data. Um, just go to GitHub, explore uh, something trending in PHP and countries. Uh, this one will work out of the box. So, grab get URL and clone this down. see if it works. There we go. So we have the Code Igniter page up. And if I just go into this Code Igniter application controller is welcome the welcome controller for uh, code igniter here and the welcome message well let's just stop it right there and go back to our page it's gonna kick start the xdebug and hope You gotta make sure that all your path mappings are correct here. There we go. So now what did I do? Stop this.
So I don't have the path mappings set up for all of these uh, items in Code Igniter folder. So let's see if we can set these up real quick. Code Igniter. Let's just tie this to a folder. Bear www www Code Igniter and. So I, all I had to do was tie in the application folder. Uh, what is that called? I had to create the path map. So all I got to do is just uh, go to your settings, search for servers, find servers, create a server for it using the host name of the server, which is what we're pulling right now, the IP address. And um, we can validate the remote environment. I found that to be less than useful in some cases. But um, all you have to do is map the folders, apparently. And then it will throw back all. Oh yeah, this is about Xdebug. It'll throw back all this data that is in your current um, active process as it pauses it. So uh, it's kind of convenient. You can, you know, all of your. There's a lot of data there. That's all there is to it, actually. Step through it and step. Getting back, I think, step to the next line. It's, a lot of useful tools here, but that's all there is to it. You're going, um, and all you have to do is dump data into uh, that vagrant www folder, and you're running xdebug on it with your PHP Storm editor. Pretty convenient. Hopefully, you learned something. Thank you.